Hey you guys, it's Misty. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am going to be doing my picks for the Sephora sale. Now it's Monday the 17th and I know the sale has been going on since Friday but that's if you are a Rouge member and I am only a VIB so I can't shop until tomorrow. So if you're VIB or just a basic insider you can shop tomorrow VIB gets 15% off and then insiders get 10%. And of course, if you're Rouge, you already know you get 20% off. <clears throat> and like I said, you can, you've been able to shop since Friday. Anyways, I figured, so, you know, if you're Rouge, more than likely, you know, you already knew what you want. You had your list down, you know, you are a pro shopper. You've spent some big bucks at Sephora this year. So you probably already knew what you want. A lot of the videos have already gone up, but if you're VIB like me, you may be a little bit more selective. I'm a little bit more selective now. I do not spend the kind of money on makeup that I used to. I'm not just buying to buy. I'm literally buying things that like I really either want to try. I mean, it's got to be something that really, you know, not just another lipstick or a lip liner or another blush or whatever. It has to be something that really gets my attention. And then I do a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but I have a few things that I will replenish and I'll talk about those when I, you know, get to them in my recommendations. But yeah, I'm a little bit more selective now than I used to be. So if you're interested, if you're like me and you're just, you know, you're a VIB or an insider, we're not shopping till tomorrow, then I feel like it's still, you know, relevant to do some recommendations. So here are the things that I truly think are worth it for the sale. So let's just start. <clears throat> foundation sorry I think I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold had a family reunion this weekend my son's been a little under the weather I've been around him so <clears throat> if my voice sounds a little weird I apologize all right the NARS light reflecting foundation I know mine's dirty this is my old one this is actually my summer color and I'm in the shade Patagonia for summer and I've started to get this out as it's getting a little bit warmer getting a little bit more sun and self tanning a little bit. I actually did purchase this in the color Deauville, but my daughter took it from me because she is in the um, height of dance competition season right now. And she has to have a full coverage foundation and she loves it as well. And she is a little bit lighter than I am. So when she self tans, her self tan color is actually the Deauville. But for me, Deauville is like my pale color. So I've just, you know, I've got a little bit left of this. You guys, I really do need to buy another one. I think that might be one of the things I buy at the sale. So I think I might, you know, have to go ahead and get one because I am almost out. I love this, you guys. It is my absolute favorite foundation. Of course, I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually wearing a drugstore foundation because it's a Monday. I'm not going anywhere. So I really save this for times when I want my face to look perfect <clears throat> because it is pricey. But this, it just covers everything. It doesn't cling to any dry spots. It's not too dewy, but it's not matte. It is that perfect in between foundation, covers everything. It's buildable, it lasts all day. It's the perfect foundation, you guys. It's my favorite. And I can honestly say I have tried quite a few foundations this past year. I've tried some new It Cosmetics foundations. I tried the Makeup by Mario foundation. I tried the House Labs foundation. So I do feel like I have tried quite a few and this is still my favorite. So I definitely recommend the NARS. All right, next thing when it comes to my face, I definitely, this is something that I purchase at the sale every year. This is my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is my favorite powder, you guys. I cannot tell you how much I love this. I am almost 45 years old, okay? I have mature skin. I've never had any Botox or fillers or anything like that. I want that stuff, you guys. Like, I would love to get some Botox up here. But at this point in my life, I just, I, I haven't yet. I do have fine lines under my eyes and I have drier skin. So I have to be very careful about, it's that fine line of trying to correct and cover your face, but not put so much makeup on that you're, you're actually like exaggerating your wrinkles and fine lines. This 
truly smooths underneath my eyes. It sets my concealer, keeps my under eyes literally looking bright and fresh all day. Had a family reunion yesterday and I was looking really close at underneath my eyes and my under eyes looked bright. They looked smooth. My mascara seems like it transfers less. So like if I'm wearing one that does transfer, I feel like it kind of helps it not to transfer as much as long as I'm setting my concealer. It was a family reunion, so there was like emotional times where I teared up for certain reasons. And I just, at the end of the day, I was really impressed at how my under eyes looked. So this is my absolute favorite, you guys. Holy grail, and I purchase one every year at the sale. Love it. All right, my next love for my face is my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. This is the cream bronzer. It's my favorite. I'm in the color light. I feel like this is the perfect shade. It's, it's a little warm to like warm up my skin, but it's not so warm that it's orangey. It definitely still has like a little bit of a contour vibe to it. I feel like I can, you know, kind of contour my nose a little bit with it. It's perfect. I love it so much. I ended up giving my daughter the powder one from Charlotte Tilbury that came out like a couple years before this one. And she really likes that one. This is all I have used since I got it. I absolutely love it and definitely recommend it. It's the perfect time to spend to get a, a pricey item like this. But I use this every day and I feel like it's going to last a long time for sure. All right, I definitely recommend this Smashbox under eye corrector. It's, you know, used to be Becca, now it's Smashbox. I'm in the shade Light. This is something to repurchase every year. Go ahead and have it. I will say though that I use this sparingly. I only use this when I am, you know, going off somewhere because I have my MAC concealer palette that I'm working through. And there is kind of a peachy color that is similar it's not as good but I will make this work on a day when I'm you know not going anywhere so but this it's so good though it literally color corrects it's hydrating it works really well like it sets and looks beautiful with the powder definitely recommend that for your under eyes for sure I am still loving the nude sticks I got this little travel tin I think I got it like I think I bought it when I got my um, Christmas gift card. So I think I've had this since uh, the beginning of the year. I love this. So this little travel tin comes with a pencil sharpener and three colors. It comes with a, <clears throat> like a burnished coppery color. It comes with a good shimmery color and they look very similar, but they're definitely like, this is definitely more of like a champagne and this has that copper color look to it. And then a smoky color that's called smoke. These are my absolute favorite, you guys. They can be used as liner to really smoke out underneath your eyes. I'm wearing the beige color today, the nudity. But if instead of going in with an eyeshadow and like smoking out my underneath my eyes, I always go in with these because there's no fallout. They do not budge. They do not fade. They, when they go on, they are on until you literally take them off at the end of the night. They can also be used as eyeshadows. They are beautiful. I can't tell you how many times I've taken this burnished color and just put it all over my lid and it gives the prettiest, just all over wash of color. It does not budge. It does not crease. They're perfect, you guys. This, I, I can't even tell you how impressed I've been with these and how great they are for just multiple use reasons. So I cannot recommend them enough. Again, it comes with like the little pencil sharpener. I travel with them. I keep them in this tin so I always know where they are and I love them. All right, the next things I definitely recommend is the Rare Beauty Blushes and Highlighter. You guys, I owe Rare Beauty an apology because I think in past videos I have said I, I didn't really like them, but I have definitely come around to the camp of loving the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty products. I really, really love them, you guys. So this is in the shade Mesmerize and this is the Luminizer. 
And then this is the shade Happy. It's what I'm wearing today. I've gotten compliments on my blush when I wear this combination. I actually really love the color Grace as well, but my daughter has that one. So I bought this and I bought a full size of Grace. And I let her pick which one. So she likes the Grace better. So she uses that. Again, she's, you know, she doesn't wear a ton of makeup, but she does like a little bit of blush. And then, you know, for dance competition. So I think during this sale, I'm going to buy myself a another Grace because I really love that. I actually also use these on my lips as well. Now I don't go in and put the tube up to my lips, but I will, you know, dab a little bit on there. They're wonderful for your lips. I mean, they just create the prettiest stain. I, I love this brand so much. I would love to try their new, um, the new lip stains, or I don't even know what they're called, but she has like new lip products. I would love to try some of those. And another thing I really love, I found out, the reason why they're packaged like this is to help people that have like joint issues, whether it's like arthritis or lupus or, you know, anybody that suffers with issues opening up, you know, bottles. I know a lot of people suffer with that. And at one point in time, I had issues with my joints. I just think that's precious. I really love this brand and I have come around. I see how amazing they are. I think it was just user error before but I love them and I definitely would repurchase and definitely recommend trying them. All right, next, I love the Stila. This is the Stay All Day. Now this is a dual extended liner. I actually got this from Ulta on sale and it was on sale because it came with this like, I don't know, it's got like a pinky, I think it's supposed to be like a highlighter liner but I don't really like it and I don't really find benefit in it so I really just bought this for it was on sale and I just really bought it for the the eyeliner this is one of my favorite eyeliners you guys the Stila waterproof stay all day liners are fantastic you might not be able to find this exact one like I said it was on sale and I think it was just one they were trying to you know get rid of at Ulta during the last sale that they had but this is fantastic. I just recommend the black, you know, basic black liner. Stila makes the best. So highly recommend that. You know, they're they're a little bit pricier, but it is a true matte black liner. It does not budge all day. You can be in the hottest weather. It won't smudge. It won't budge. It's so good, you guys. So definitely, it's just good to stock up on things like this when you can get them on sale. And I feel like these last for a long time. And that has been my issue with the drugstore. I, they're either too shiny or they dry out so fast. And drugstore, you're already paying like eight to $13 now for an eyeliner, okay? I did try a Wet n Wild one that was super cheap and it dried out within a week. It was horrible. So if I'm buying my Maybelline or my L'Oreal that I do like and that I will purchase sometimes, I mean, they're getting expensive at the drugstore. They dry out fast. If I'm gonna spend the money, then, you know, if I'm gonna have to purchase them a lot sooner, it's not saving me any money. So I would just rather buy one that I really love. It might be a little bit more expensive, but if I get months and months out of it, it's worth it, you know what I mean? So I definitely, definitely love this one. All right, so eyes. You guys, I, these are ridiculously expensive, but I do love the Tom Ford quads. Now I want a disclaimer here. I did not buy these. Well, I bought one of them on Sephora for a, at a really good sale price, but two of them I actually got ridiculously inexpensive because I got them on Amazon and I got them for like 35 bucks. So it was just a flash sale kind of deal. I jumped on it, but I love them. All of these that I'm talking about are available on Sephora. So if you do want to try them, I know they're ridiculously expensive, but during the sale is the time to do it. So this is in the color Body Heat and I checked and all of these are available on Sephora website. This is beautiful. It is just a good, neutral, basic palette. The, the colors work well together, or these are good colors just to swipe one color on and be done. 
Um, they blend flawlessly, love them. Insolent Rose, this is beautiful. Again, these colors just blend so beautiful. This is just a really good mauve pinky purpley color. And then my favorite, I think, would definitely be Honeymoon. This is my absolute favorite. I was the most proud to get this on sale. I can think of, like I said, is I got this for like $35. That is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It is the most beautiful, perfect, bronzy. Like these two colors are my favorite. And then when I want to just make my eyes a little bit more dramatic, I'll go in with the darker shades. They all blend beautifully, you guys. I love them. I fell in love with the Tom Ford pods way years ago, way back at one of the Nordstrom semi-annual sales or whatever. And they had a special color. It was like called Orchid or something. I still have it, but I, you know, I don't know. It's probably gone. I don't think it's gone bad. I mean, it, it still, you know, looks fine, smells fine, but you cannot get that color anymore. And it was my favorite. Like I loved every single color in that palette and they just blended so beautifully together. And I'm just heartbroken that I can never get that again. But I think Honeymoon is the closest that I found to those colors. They're just really good. They're They are, they're really good eyeshadows, especially those three. Now I know some of the quads people will say aren't as good as others, but if you're curious, there is a ton of Tom Ford videos out there, people ranking the quads and doing eye looks so you can get an idea if you're curious. But again, I am wearing that Honeymoon palette on my eyes and I love it so much. And I also do love the Stila this is, now I like the shimmer. There's the glitter and glow, and then there's the shimmer and glow. I'm not a huge glitter eye person. I pr prefer like the shimmer. And this is just a good, you know, like shimmer. Actually, this might be getting, I might need to throw this out. I haven't used it in quite a while, but I do like it. I think it is kind of dried out, but I do recommend it because I like it. But it's just a good like eyeshadow topper. I actually haven't really had the need to use this since I got the these, the nude sticks, but I do recommend them and I do like them. And sometimes you can get them in a really nice set. So if you can find them in a set, I recommend. They do not budge either. They do not crease. Again, I personally like the shimmer and glow instead of the glitter. All right, one more eye thing and then we'll move on to fragrance. Grande Lash. You guys, I love Grande Lash. I have used three or four different eyelash serums and my favorite is the Grande Lash, you guys. I've been using, so let me just say this. I started out using Revita Lash at the beginning of the year and I definitely noticed nice growth within a month. However, at the end of March, I would say that I kind of felt like my eyelashes in some places were getting sparse and they just kind of stopped growing. They got, got to a certain point and I didn't feel like they were growing anymore. Kind of bummed. And then one of my daughter's friends, I noticed her lashes looked insane. And I was like, what are you doing to your lashes? And she's like, oh, I've been using the Grande Lash. And I was like, that's it. I'm going back to Grande Lash. I used Grande Lash back in 2021 and I look back on pictures, my lashes were unreal. They were perfection. And I just stopped wearing it. You know, I just like with everything else, I don't know, I just kind of just stopped using it. I stopped buying them. I got back into false lashes and it's like I just got false lash crazy again and doing like the um, underneath your eyes, how you do like your own lash extensions. And I just stopped using it. But I have just really become low maintenance lately, you guys, especially since I, you know, my foot issues and I haven't been working. I, there's no need for me to wear false lashes every day. And I thought this is a good time to give my eyelashes a break, but I still want to have lashes. Grande Lash is where it's at, you guys. I started using the Grande Lash about two weeks ago and I have already noticed a huge difference. This is literally just a couple of coats of mascara. And the mascara that I'm wearing today is actually a drugstore mascara. It's the Lash Princess. That's literally all I have on my eyes. I 
really can tell a difference. And I definitely recommend the Grande Lash. Now, there is controversy on whether it's safe for your eyes. You'll have to do your own research. My whole thought is I will get my lashes to a point of where I think they are probably not getting any longer. And then I'm going to maybe use this every other day or maybe every three days or maybe like three times a week and just kind of keep up with it. And I think that's kind of a good compromise. Maybe using it every single day of your life is not a good thing, but I don't know. I'm about to go to the eye doctor for my annual exam in a month. So we'll see what she says. Like if, I mean, I've gone before and she's never said anything and I have used it in the past. She's never commented that my eyes have any issues. So we'll see, but I'm loving, absolutely loving the Grande Lash. All right, you guys, next lip glosses. So I don't really have any lipsticks that I would recommend. I do like the Natasha Denona lipsticks. I don't have it with me, my daughter has it, but but her lipsticks are good. But what I've really been enjoying is like just easy lip glosses lately. So my favorite is the House Labs and this is the PHD Hybrid Lip Oil and I have the color Primary. This, and it goes on more looking just like a really pretty berry stain. Do not be afraid of this color. It is, it's a really, really easy, easy wearing lip gloss. That's it right there. It's so pretty, it's thin, it's a thin formula, which I love, and it doesn't have any stinging, which I don't mind, but if you do, just know that. I also do love the Lawless Forget the Filler, and I have quite a few shades here. Now let me tell you about these. I like these a lot, I think they're great, but I will say they're definitely very thick. You have to be careful if you go put them on, you're gonna have like the string, the lip gloss strings hanging from your lips when you open your mouth if you're not careful. But they're pretty, okay? They are really, really pretty. They do have a little bit of like that tingly kind of feeling. So if you like that, you'll love these. But they're really nice. You can wear them on your on their own, or you can put them over lipsticks. And they're very hydrating. So I really do like these. And let me show you the colors here. All right, so this is Daisy Pink right here. It's a pretty like milky baby pink color. Then we have Glazed and Glazed is over here. It is like a kind of just a basic champagne color. And then we do have cherry vanilla and that's over here it's kind of like a pinky coral color and then we have velvet and velvet is just kind of like a mauvey rosy color right there so i like these a lot you guys these are great i think if i had to choose though between these i love the house labs it's just very thin easy formula but i love them all all right now let's talk about some my favorite part fragrances. So now you guys, I definitely recommend, I've said this a hundred times. I love fragrance net just for the simple fact that you can get a really good deal on fragrances, but you can get almost just as good of a deal now if you go and get them during the sale at Sephora. So if you prefer to get your fragrances somewhere where you can easily return them, because it's not easy to return fragrances at fragrance net, I totally get that. So the sale, it would be the time to get it. So let's just jump right into my favorites that you could get at Sephora. First of all, the Boom Boom Cream. This is just a sample that I got a Sephora perk, but now's the time, you guys. If you love this smell, if you know it, you know it. If you love it, it's the time because this thing is, is not cheap. So it's the time to get the Boom Boom Cream. I do love it. I feel like it's very hydrating. I love how it makes my skin look because there is like a little bit of like a shimmery glow, but it's not, it's not like tacky looking glitter. It's just really, it's a really pretty shimmer. It feels good on your skin. It's very hydrating. And I do really love the scent. If you love that banana boat, creamy coconut, warm, sweet kind of scent, 
you will love it. So I definitely recommend that. So Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is my favorite Miss Dior fragrance. This is a clean, soapy, sweet, but not like foodie sweet, of course, at all. It is a fresh, sweet bouquet of flowers. It is such a good fragrance. It smells like you stepped right out of the shower. You are fresh and clean, but you put on the most beautiful uh, flowery fragrance. I absolutely love it. My next one, it's newer to me. This is Prada, and this is Prada Paradox. This is what I'm wearing today. I love this one, you guys. If you love a jasmine fragrance, you will love this. This definitely, I get a heavy jasmine and a little bit of a vanilla in this, but it just smells like very fresh. It's a very bright, fresh jasmine fragrance with like a little tiny bit of sweetness. I love it so much, you guys. Definitely recommend that. I also really love Carolina Herrera. This is very good, girl. This, to me, is, is a little reminiscent of, like, Delina. If you like Delina, I feel like it's kind of a, a good combination between, like, the original Delina and then the exclusive. This is a little bit more fruitier, kind of, I think. It's not quite as long-lasting and as sophisticated smelling as Delina, but it's still a really good option. So if you do like that Delina type of fragrance, I think you'll really like this. And I personally love the, I personally love the little heel. I, I love it. All right, you guys. And then Flower Bomb. Definitely recommend Flower Bomb. You guys, this is just, this is warm and sweet. This is just a classic fragrance. If you really love like, okay, so it's like the Miss Dior, like the 2017 Miss Dior, that's like the patchouli, but this is not as heavy. This is lighter. This is more of like the flower notes in that, a little less woody, but if you like that kind of vibe, I feel like this is such a good, cause you know, the 2017 Miss Dior is discontinued, but I feel like this is like a lighter version and it makes me not miss that um, that that's discontinued as much because I do I can't really wear that the 2017 Miss Dior because it's so heavy and where I live it's too hot. This is perfect. This is perfect for where I live and it's just good, you guys. I love it. And then we have Hot Couture. Now it's gonna look different. Now they've changed the bottle. I don't know if they changed the formula. I can't speak to that. I hope they haven't. I pray that it still smells like this, but this is a sexy, smoky-esque kind of fragrance. It is a hot girl fragrance, okay? And it's a classic. It's been around forever, but it's definitely one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. This um, has a little bit more of a raspberry. This is the, oh, EDT version. I think they discontinued the perfume but I love this. It's gonna always be a favorite. Like I said, I hope they haven't changed the formula, but it's a great fragrance. And then finally, my number one fragrance of all time, Mongrelan. This is, it is so beautiful. I smell a lot of the lavender, but I also smell the vanilla. I prefer the original Mongrelan much more than the um, intense version. That intense version, it's just very lackluster to me. I don't know. I A lot of people love it more. They say it's more vanilla. But this, there is something very creamy and cozy and calming in this scent. I absolutely love it. I really love it. I'll wear it anytime, but it really shines when it's really cold outside. I have gotten so many compliments on this fragrance. This will always be like my top favorite fragrance. So, all right, you guys, I think that's it. I know this was kind of a long video, but I hope this was helpful. And let me know what you plan on getting for this sale. I'm going to probably get another foundation and I need another powder. And I think I want that one um, Rare Beauty blush that I gave my daughter. I think I'd like to get that for myself again. So 
I think that's what I'm going to purchase. And if they have any of the Rare Beauty lip, the new lip products, I might try that. But yeah, so I think that I think I'm going to do a lot of just, you know, replenishing what I already have and not really trying a whole lot of new stuff, but it's all good. You know, it's the perfect time to do it since you get 15% off. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.